Hello, I'm Justin from Habitech, and today I'm going to show you how to configure access points using the CN Maestro platform from Cambium. First of all, open a browser and go to cloud.cambiumnetworks.com. From there, you can set up an account by clicking the Create a Cloud account under the Join Cambium banner. This account will be used for all of your customers. Once you've done that, click the Sign In button on the right hand side of the banner and put in your username and password. This opens up the CN Maestro platform and on the top right of the screen you can see your account name and if you click it you can see all of your sites underneath. In this case we're going to create a new account for our customers. So click create account, choose a account name, this has to be uh, alphanumeric characters and underscores only so I'm going to do uh, Mr underscore Lawrence, a friendly name for the account, the country where the devices are going to be installed, so in this case United Kingdom, and the time zone they're installed in, in this case Europe, London. And then once you've done that, Choose the account type, in this case it will be NMS, which is Cloud Maestro, and an account view. For this, choose Enterprise, because you're installing Enterprise Access Points. Then click I agree, and click Create Account. After a few seconds, you'll be connected to the CN Maestro portal, and you'll also be in the account name, in my case, Mr. Martin Lawrence, on the top right. Next step is to set up your WLAN or SSID. And the easiest way to do this is to start by expanding the menu on the left hand side of the screen using the arrow labelled Expand Collapse Menu. From here go down to the WLANs menu, click once, and you'll see that in there there's a default enterprise SSID. We recommend you actually use a new SSID for the network you're setting up. So click the new button, type in a name for the Wi-Fi, and when you type in that name and click to the next box, you'll see that by default, it sets the SSID to your name, in this case, home Wi-Fi. And then from here, you can set up more settings such as the bands it uses, client isolation, and so on. In this case, to keep it simple, we're gonna keep the SSID the same. We're not going to enable meshing. We're gonna allow all bands, and then we need to change the security to WPA2 slash three pre-shared keys. Then type in a passphrase for the WLAN. At this point you can also do advanced settings, so that might include um, enabling 802.11 R, K and V for roaming, and to increase efficiency you can also tick the over, D, over the DS, which stands for over the distribution system for the fast roaming protocol. Once you're satisfied with that, click the Save button. And you'll get a WLAN successfully created message. Next is to choose the AP Group section on the left hand side. And in the AP Groups, you'll see that there's a default Enterprise and default Home AP Group. We're going to create a new one to include the access points that are going to be used on this site. So click the New button on the right hand side, choose a name for the AP Group. At the bottom, in the WLAN box, we need to add in the WLAN that we created previously. So click Add WLAN, choose the SSID you created, click Add, and then on the left hand side, finally, you need to create a password for the AP group. So click the Management button, type in a password, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Save button. Now your AP group has been created. Now, if we go back to the AP groups and we click our home Wi-Fi, we now have a dashboard for the home Wi-Fi group and we need to add our access points to that group. And we do so by clicking APs in the top menu 
and then claim a new AP, and then we can type in the access points that we want to create. We do this by looking for the QR code on the back of the access point and typing the MSN number next to it. If you're adding more than one access point, you can press the enter button and type in the MSN number of the second access point. Click the claim devices button and you'll get a success message to say that your enterprise access points have been added. Final step. Plug in the access points. Wait a few minutes and they'll be auto configured and ready to run. After a few moments, you'll see on the AP group screen, the access points have come online. And during that process, you might see that they're automatically updating because they will take the latest firmware available as they pre-configure themselves. So in this process, we've configured two access points for one site. And within the CN Maestro platform, we can click the home icon and get information on that network just by looking for the client on the top right hand side, uh, looking at the dashboard and then clicking the network that we want to check. And you'll see the status is onboarded and online. And that's how you deploy a Wi-Fi network using CN Maestro.